1905 was a year that led to changes in the Thai nation. A 12-year-old prince was sent to study in a faraway land. He had to start a new life, learning a new language and adapting to a new culture, among other diverse challenges. Though he was sent to study subjects as a basis for his military training, his favorite pastime was painting. His work reflects his true gentle and nature-loving character. In another time, this young prince might have become a foremost artist in Siam. Though he could not determine his own destiny in the beginning, he was however able to set a course later in life, dedicating all his time, intelligence and resources for others and the nation. Born on the 1st of January 1892, Prince Mahidon of Songkla was the 69th child of His Majesty King Julalongkorn, the 5th King of Chakri Dynasty. Following his royal father's wishes, he started studying at the Army Academy in Berlin, Prussia. When King Rama V passed away and his royal brother ascended the throne as King Rama VI, he was told to change his field of study to naval sciences. Five years as a naval cadet at the Morwick Imperial German Naval Academy in Flensburg was full of hardship and tests, as he was treated no different than other cadets, greatly testing his health, his mind, and sharpening his intelligence. The result was strict discipline with oneself, perseverance, and determination that was reflected in all the prince's conduct. 1914, the First World War threw Europe into turmoil. Prince Mahidon was called back to Siam. He entered into service of the Royal Siamese Navy for a short while, but later he decided to leave the military. Saving people's lives is an important mission that I can do by myself and will donate money given to me as a prince to fund my desire to be of benefit to the country. With the objective of helping others being foremost in his mind, Prince Mehidon started studying medicine and public health in the United States of America. This was the starting point of his commitment to upgrading medicine and public health in Siam. Though his health was sometimes a concern with recurring ailments, he never let those get in the way of his determination to work for needy patients. He donated personal funds to Chulalongkorn University to set up scholarships in enhancing Thailand's medicine and related collegiate education by sending Thai medical instructors to pursue further education abroad. With collaboration from the Rockefeller Foundation, he provided support for the construction of an inpatient building at Sirirat Hospital. Medical professors from overseas were brought in to help with the training. Scholarships were offered to Thai instructors to study medicine abroad. Thus was the life dedicated to others of Prince Mahidon of Songkla, father of modern medicine and public health of Thailand. To honor His Royal Highness Prince Mahidon of Songkla and to commemorate the centenary of his birth on January 1, 1992, His Majesty King Pumipon Adunyadeh graciously granted the royal permission to establish the Prince Mahidon Award. The award is administered by the Prince Mahidon Award Foundation, which is under the royal patronage and chaired by Her Royal Highness Princess Mahatakri Sirinton. The Prince Mahidon Award is recognized by the international community as a prestigious accolade given annually to individuals or organizations for outstanding and exemplary contributions to humanity in the fields of medicine and public health. Awards consist of medals, certificates, and a sum of 100,000 US dollars. In the past 27 years, 79 individuals, groups of individuals, and institutions had received the Prince Maidon Award. Among them, five subsequently received the Nobel Prize. One Prince Maidon Award laureate was elected as Director General of World Health Organization, and four Thai citizens selected as Prince Maidon laureates. Prince Maidon Award 2018 in the field of medicine, Professor Brian J. Drucker, Professor of Medicine, Director of Knight Cancer Institute, Oregon Health and Science University, United States of America. Professor Brian J. Drucker made a significant research discovery 
in the field of targeted cancer therapy. He developed a prototype drug called imatinib that has been found to reduce severity, mortality, and morbidity from CML. Professor Dr. Mary Claire King, Professor of Medical Genetics, Department of Medicine, School of Medicine, University of Washington, United States of America. Professor Dr. Mary Claire King discovered a gene causing breast cancer, the most common cancer among women, and also worked with researchers at the University of Washington to develop an affordable genetic test for breast cancer so that more people can have access to screening. Prince Mahidun Award 2018 in the field of public health. Professor John D. Clements, Director, International Center for Diarrheal Disease Research, Bangladesh. Adjunct Professor of Epidemiology, University of California, Los Angeles, United States of America. Professor Jon R. Holmgren, Professor of Medical Microbiology and Immunology, Director of the Gothenburg University Vaccine Research Institute, Sweden. Professor John D. Clements and Professor Jon R. Holmgren worked jointly for over 30 years to study and develop oral cholera vaccine, or OCV. During the 1970s, Professor Holmgren demonstrated that an important immunity against cholera is IgA, produced on the mucosal surface of intestines. Thus, oral vaccines would be more efficient in inducing protection than injectable vaccines. Professor Clemens played an important role to clinically prove the efficacy of OCV. As a result, WHO has recommended that cholera vaccines should be given orally and discontinued the use of injectable vaccines. This also led to the establishment of an OCV stockpile to support countries at risk of or affected by the spread of cholera to help save the lives of millions of people worldwide.